Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Samantha Rizundu. Today, I am going to do a little shop my stash. They're one of my favorite things to do because I just get to use the makeup that I have. And I like to do a little thing with each shop my stash that's so a little bit more exciting. And today, I wanted to use products that have been like cult favorites or went through like a big boom of popularity. Um, in the past so just not current so some things are a little bit more popular recently and then other things are really popular quite a long time ago for example I'm going to be using the peaches sweet peach Too Faced palette so that is an old classic okay so I'm going to start with primer obviously and this is the very popular Becca first light priming filter and I really like this one I think it's just a good standard type of primer it just suits a lot of skin types and it smells like citrus so that's always nice we're going to go straight into foundation now the foundation I wanted to use is too dark but I still want to use it because someone gave it to me and I was like I'm going to put that to good use oh it's a little bit separated um that's why I was giving it a shake it's the NARS radiant long wear and this is Santa Fe which is Far too dark for me so what I do is I mix it with one that is far too light and that is the Il Musca skin base which is not a fan fave but it just helps me to be able to mix them I really like this foundation it's probably really one that I like that has a little bit more coverage they have been doing a lot of light coverage lately but if I want something that like if I'm going out I would definitely wear this one because it lasts and it just looks beautiful on the skin. More of a satin finish. So it just looks like your skin, but better. I haven't done enough. Okay, one more pump of each. And now I've probably got too much on. <laughs> There's no balance, is there? I think NARS will always be a cult classic, like the Laguna. Even the um, highlighters are incredible. Okay, concealer. I have the Too Faced Born This Way Multi Sculpting Concealer. This was, when this first came out, I was like, I have to have this. I was obsessed with getting this product. So I've had this since it came out. And I can't see how far on it, how long I am, but I it feels light. I feel like I'm towards the end because I used to use this exclusively. Um, and I definitely used to use too much. I, I like it. It can get a little cakey though with certain foundations, which I don't like. So it's definitely one of those concealers that I can't go too heavy handed. But it was really good. Another high, um, real cult fave, the Tarte Shape Tape. I've never tried it. Um, I'm not really into the whole matte thing. I do have some matte concealers that I like. I heard that it's quite drying and I was like, it does not appeal to me. See, it's quite nice and it's definitely brightening. I don't think I've repurchased it though, just because my taste has changed. Like all this makeup I'm using today is really good and I really like it, but I haven't been using it as much because it's more on the full coverage. Because that's what was popular. It was all about baking. I mean, I never baked, but it was all about flawless velvet skin. Velvet, that doesn't sound good. A really matte, flawless skin, which had its moment. Now it's all about fresh, dewy skin, which I am definitely here for. So I want to give you a little story time. I'm not going to go into great detail because I want to have a bit of respect. It looks like my neighbor. So we, I live in a split house and then out the back is a granny flat. And it looks like that one is stealing our packages. And um, it's a very hard thing to prove. But let's just say one of my packages that went missing was signed by who I think that is. We're not on a friendly basis because they're not the greatest neighbors. Oh, I don't want to go into detail, but basically it, it's pretty much proven that they steal. <laughs> so I've gone to Bunnings to go get letters to clearly state so the posties don't go out the back because they've gone out the back a few times. She'll take the package and not return it. And then you have to go out the back to claim it. <laughs> anyway, so I've got letters out the front so they cannot miss because they're like, 
going out the back rather than at the front of the house. Like, why would you go all the way behind gates to the back of the house when, I don't know, our doors are labeled, but I don't know, I guess the posties don't really see it. So then I'm going to go in with the bronzer. I'm going to take, oh, I forgot to say I use the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder, um, which is obviously a cult fave. And it's in my project pan. I am trying to finish it, but I use such little amount of powder. It's literally taking me years. Um, so for bronzer, I'm going to take home the bronze Oliver. This is actually quite new to my collection. However, not new in the beauty world. So I'm going to take that and put that all over. Oh, no, I wanted to contour. I'm so silly. I've got the Contour Kit by Anastasia, which is a fave of mine. I haven't been using it much because I've got one in my project pan that I'm trying to finish. But I wanted to pick this one up. I use this contour shade pretty much exclusively. I don't really use the other ones. I am going to plan to depot it and maybe one of the bronzers. Because I don't use the palette. And it just... I feel like it's a waste of space because I don't use all the shades and I love the contour shade. I've put the signs up so that posties know exactly where to go and I'm hoping that helps and um, if I can help it, not every parcel is through Australia Post, sometimes it's through a courier. If I can help it, when I get the notification from Australia Post, I'm going to get it delivered to our parcel locker, which is free. Um, it's more hassle, but it means that I actually get my products. It's actually crazy. You can't just call the police. Like, what are they going to do? They're not going to raid her house. And she's a bit dodgy, so I don't know. Anyway, that's my neighborhood drama. Uh, without going into too much detail because there's more but that's all I can really talk about you know I get pack a lot of packages sent not a lot a lot um, but you know with this channel I do buy makeup and a lot of it is overseas because we don't have access to a lot of stuff in store and I don't want to just have to stop because someone doesn't have any respect So I've got to try and find other ways to sort it out. Anyway, this bronzer is beautiful. I can see why it was a cult fave. Do people still, I don't think people really use it that much anymore. Okay, so that's that. And for blush, absolute cult fave. That is the, I only mean, have it in a palette, but it's the NARS Orgasm blush, which I use a lot. I thought about doing the Laguna bronzer, but I know that the balm was really popular and I feel like Laguna is just always going to be around. So let's do the NARS blush. I do love NARS blushes, but I feel like you have to really pick up a lot to... Oh, so pretty. I mean, there's a reason why this is popular. Yeah, you have to pick up a lot to just get that flush, which is good because you don't want anything to be too pigmented, do we? And then my highlight, I have a really, I have some really bad news. When I took all of my makeup products into the living room where I film, I dropped my highlighter. <laughs> this is my Becca highlighter. So, I mean, I was trying to uh, finish this up. It was already hit pan. So there's not a lot of product in here. But what I'm going to do is I'm, like I said before, I'm planning on depotting a whole bunch of products and putting them into one big palette as like a full face palette customized and so what I might do is depot this first before I repress it and then I'll repress it um, because then I can afford to be a little bit more flexible and I'm actually going to make a, mo a movie I'm actually going to make a video on my depotting journey into a full face palette so powder foundation, bronzer, blush, eyeshadow, highlighter, everything all in one um, magnetic palette. But it's probably better that it happened to this one than a brand new one, see? But yeah, these Becca highlighters, everyone had a Becca highlighter. And I feel like they will always be around, but there was a time where everyone, 
everyone had um this one's pearl no everyone had pearl because it's so fair um but what was the one that everyone had was it moonstone i really like the pearl but it's very icy pretty very delicate with her very delicate. I'm going to go in with my finishing powder. That is the Hourglass Ambient Light. And this is in Mood Light. I'm obsessed with this powder. I've even got a crack in this. I'm the worst. <laughs> and I'm just gonna buff this all over. Oh, it just takes your makeup to the next level. And I like to do this before my eyes so I can be a little bit rough, as you can see. When I've got full eye makeup on, I feel like I have to be too um, intentional with where I'm putting it. Whereas, oh, I love hourglass. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, so brows. Oh my god. I have the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in Taupe. This, everyone. Everyone had the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade. Okay, do you remember when everyone did those block brows and it was like faded and it was like really sparse here and then it went like so opaque towards the tip? I'm so glad that's over. So I am going to set my face with the MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus. This is the original and I think this will always be popular. I do like the smell of it. It's very chemically, but I kind of like it. Is that weird? For eye primer, I'm going to use the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. And do people even use this anymore? I love it because it's just nude. It's nothing. It's transparent. That's what I like it. And I think it works. I think it does the job. So for eyeshadow, we are using the Too Faced what is it called? Sweet peach. I hate the smell of the Too Faced peach. I feel like I'm in minority in that one. So what are we going to do? I'm wearing grey, so I don't want to go too warm. I might even stay over this side, which I never use this side. I tend to use just this side because it's like easy every day. So let's challenge ourselves, shall we? I think I will just start with a very fair shade to set the fat, to set the face, to set the eyes. I love this shade. I feel like this would be the first one that I pan. It's just, it doesn't do much, but it just smooths out my eye. I'm just going in my inner corner with that white color, the white peach. And then, Let's get crazy. Maybe like a green. Oh, let's go with the green. I'm going to do Bliss Her Heart in that first portion of the eye. Why was this palette so popular? I don't know. Maybe because it was average. The formula is very good. It's a very good formula. It's very reliable. Um, my husband Vinny bought this for me for my birthday. He walked into Mecca and he said, <laughs> I don't know what to get. So the girl helped him. And then I'm going to use my finger and go in with, um, I'm going to use nectar on the inner part just so I can open my eye up a little bit. I love this nectar shade. It's so pretty. Oh, I forgot to get an eyeliner. I know what I'm going to get. I'll go get it. Okay, and then what are we going to do on the outer portion? Talk Derby to me. I don't think I've ever used this um, navy shade. Oh, yeah. I feel like I'm definitely doing an eye look from five years ago. I feel like this type of eye look is not popular anymore. <laughs> this like black, smoky, cool toned, 
It's just not popular at the moment. Oh, I like it. I like this. Very easy shadows to use. Love it. Hello, 2007. I'm here. I am here. I'm gonna do under my eyes. I'm gonna go get my eyeliner and then I'm gonna put on mascara. So BRB. Okay, so I totally forgot I need two eyeliners. I used in my waterline and tightline the Urban Decay 24 7 Glide On, which is obviously a cult fave. And then I've got the Maybelline Master Precise Liquid Liner. And this was all the rage. And I don't use it anymore, but I still have it. I actually have a backup. Why do I have a backup? I don't even use this one. So I might even give it away because I don't even use liquid liner that much. I've actually got the new, the new one, the Tattoo Studio, which is more like a, it's more of a like super liquidy, what do you call it? Like a quill type where you dip it in. What do you call that? I don't even know. Where this is more like a pen. It's not bad. Why don't I use this? I'm trying to finish up my Mellow Cosmetics. It never ends. This is working very well, considering I never use it. <laughs> All right, I'm just going to finish this up and be right back. And then I'm going to go in with my Too Faced a Better Than Sex Mascara. I've got the small one, but very popular mascara. I've got a, quite a few Too Faced products, actually, because I think they really had a boom in product sales not so much anymore there's been too many dramas I'm surprised I have so many Too Faced products it's not even my favorite brand but somehow I have so many Too Faced products um, which is quite interesting I would never have thought that I had this much I do like this mascara I'm trying to finish this one up in my project pan as well I just rolled it in I'm trying to use it up Okay, I found a product I wanted to add on, and that is the Urban Decay Heavy Metals. This one is Gun Metal. These were so popular. I actually have four. Oh, that's cool. It's a little bit funky. Oh, that's super cute. Let me show you. Oh, yes. I am feeling myself right now. Okay, last is lips, and I think I know what I want to do. Um, I'm going to use this lip liner and make it work, because uh, it doesn't match the lipstick I'm wearing, but I just want it as a nude base, and that is the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat, and I think these are still a cult favorite, and this one is Pillow, Pillow Talk, so it should be fine. I just want something to give my lips definition. And it's such an easy lip liner to use. I love it. I'm so glad I got it. Now, I couldn't decide which one I wanted. I bought the NYX Butter Gloss because they were so popular. Um, but that's more warm. So I wanted something more cool. And I've got the Urban Decay Back Talk, which is one of my all-time favorite lipsticks that I am trying to finish with my Project Pan. And I think it is good for this look. I used to wear this lipstick every single day, which is why I'm almost finished. I love the formula and it wears really well. Mm -mm -mm. Delicious. How did I do? Were any cult faves that you recognize? Have you got any other cult faves that you were obsessed with and might still be obsessed with? I, I had real fun. I really like how this look turned out. Um, like I said, these are shades that I haven't really used in the palette. Like I've never used the um, Talk Derby to me before. And I really liked how easy that was to blend out. Pretty chuffed, not gonna lie. And other than that, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.